In 1483, two boys aged 9 and 12 simply vanished from the Tower of London. They were both heirs to the throne. Were they murdered? Did they escape? Welcome to the first of our new series, 5-Minute History. We've had requests to do simple versions of some of our videos. Often it's British history where people get confused by all the Edwards and Elizabeths and Richards and Henrys. We get it. If you don't want dates and bloodlines and backstories, just the basics of good history stories in a more casual and quick format, these videos are for you. We start with the princes in the tower. Let's dig into this. In 1483, King Edward IV died. His queen was Elizabeth Woodville, and it was a love match that had upset Edward's family and a lot of England's nobility, too. The Woodvilles were ambitious and took many of the best positions and married many of the most eligible nobles available, creating a lot of unhappy nobles. King Edward's family rebelled against him, even replacing him at one time with the king he had pushed into hiding to take the crown. Only Edward's brother Richard stuck by his side no matter what. Edward and Elizabeth had seven living children when the king died. Their 12-year-old son, another Edward, was the heir. And their 9-year-old son, Richard, was the spare. Just before he died, Edward IV asked his brother Richard of Gloucester to serve as Lord Protector of his son. Of course, the queen and her family didn't want to lose their power, so everyone started jockeying for position. So Edward IV's son was proclaimed Edward V at his father's death, and the queen wanted to get him home from Wales where he was living, learning all about becoming a king, and get him crowned before Uncle Richard could get his hands on him. Uncle Richard knew he had to have control over Edward, and snatched him on his way to London. He soon forced Elizabeth to let him take Richard too, and put both boys in the Tower of London and started removing anyone who disagreed with him, stacking the council whose job was advising the king, with his own supporters. And then evidence was suddenly found that his brother King Edward IV had contracted a marriage with another woman before he married Queen Elizabeth, which meant the king and queen were never legally married, and their children could not inherit the throne. Convenient for Richard, who was crowned Richard III on July 6th of 1483. The princes in the tower were never seen after the summer of 1483. It was almost immediately assumed Richard III had had them murdered, and still to this day. Two bodies were found in 1647 in the Tower of London and placed in an urn at Westminster Abbey, labeled as the missing princes in the tower. They were examined in 1933, but no proof they were the princes was found. And in 1789, two coffins were found in the tomb of King Edward IV that could be his sons, but no examination of these coffins has ever been allowed. In the past year, claims that new evidence has been found to prove the princes were not murdered by their uncle Richard III or anyone else has caused a bit of a kerfuffle. Documents dated by experts as authentic to the correct period in time have been presented as this evidence. It is being used to support the theory that the princes in the tower escaped and were really the pretenders to the throne, Lambert Simnel and Perkin Warbeck. But just because the document is real doesn't mean what it says is true. Paper and ink can be authenticated, but until the words on the document are proven, the information cannot just be assumed to be true. Respected historians have had quite a time with these new claims and we have yet to find someone who agrees with the assumptions made. One day DNA testing may prove where the princes from the tower are and possibly what happened to them. Until then, they are still missing and their uncle, King Richard III, is still a suspect in their murders. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Hey, here's another Dragon Den video you might like. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And you can hit the notification bell if you'd like to know when our videos come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.